Hi right, guys, Martin back with project log number three, and this one is all about the bass. Um, there's so many songs that you could throw against that one. Um, if you have, and just out of, out of, out of humour more than anything, um, check on YouTube after you've finished watching this video. Um, type in all about the bass Star Wars parody, um, and it's the um, Megan Trainer song, but done um, in, in Star Wars. Um, fashion um, is absolutely fantastic if you've already seen it go and watch it again because it's worth a giggle um, and if you haven't then just go and watch it um, really good video um, but anyway enough of that that's not what we're here for today we're here to see the progress on the bass and this is what we've got so it's a chopping board um, I couldn't tell you what size it is actually without measuring it and I'm not going to take measure to hand um, I suppose actually this board is a kind of tape measure um, so it's going 15 to 40 is 25 centimeters um, across, um, more or less. Um, let me raise the microphone, uh, the microphone, the, the camera up a little bit um, so that you can you can see what I've done. Now, yes, this is sponge, and at the moment it's still soft. There's PVA glue drying on it to harden it up, and when it takes a coat of lacquer and then a coat of primer and then the paint, it will become hard and it will give a hopefully. Um, a nice rock edge. Um, but what I did was I got some polyfiller, um, just household quick drying polyfiller, um, put it more or less all over the base, and then all these things um, are aquarium rocks. I paid £2.99 from the range, um, which is a, 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 a shop in England, um, I'm sure obviously likes of Michaels or wherever. Um, just just aquarium rocks anyway that sells sells aquarium rocks a couple of pounds i've sprinkled them on and then some fine grit um sand place them all in just squash them in these sponges again i got those from the range um, it's a pack of artist sponges and they come in different shapes and textures and i just rip them up um, and hopefully they're going to make a nice rock formation and um, when finished and this is a chimera i believe they're called um that i had knocking about the whole theme for the bases for my Nurgle, uh, for not my Nurgle, for my Death Guard, if you like, um, the the based around dead Imperial Guard, um, all thanks to a Heldrake. So um, it made sense to have that, and I just sawn bits off, got it so that it's it's on an angle, sunk it straight into the um, to the polyfiller, so that that's that's not really moving anywhere. And again, just just put some stone around it so it looks like it's been pushed maybe a little bit along and it's built up i've left this area clear because again one of the themes that i run through with my my nagel army and to an extent i'm going to run through with my death guard army is water effects um like a toxic sewer um and that's what's going to fit in into there um and then possibly um, a little tiny pool just at the back here um let it all dry for 24 hours um, and then I just literally tapped it, ran over it with a, a light brush and um, like, like that, bits come off. And that's fine, you want a few bits to come off because once it's all primed and painted, I'll add a little bit more to it. I'll add some mud texture to it. I'll add some um, some some tufts of, of, of grass and some reeds and stuff um, definitely coming out of here. I might even add like a few pieces of bark. I thought about putting a tree um, maybe coming out of here, um, like a dead wood tree, um, sort of overhanging the pond. I don't know. Um, but what are these white lines? Because um, the camera doesn't obviously come with them. They're where the foot goes. So let me try and lift up a foot and show you what I mean. Now, when you're building a Warhound Titan, you start with a foot and you work your way up. Blue tack is your friend, um, and it's always worth remembering that. Blue tack is your friend. Um, you need to put quite a lot of blue tack on to get the legs to hold um, how you want them. But it's that old adage of um, measure twice, cut once. Um, this is measure twice, glue once. Um, I'm sure Mike said that in one of his videos, actually. Um, but you can see now where that more or less fits into that white line. That's where the first foot of the Titan is going to go. Um, probably a bit more on an angle across to there, which is fine. 
which then will allow me to build the leg up and come across, I believe, the other foot, um, which I've not got assembled. Um, I'm looking to see if I've even got the big... Oh, there he is. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, is going to sit about here. Um, so he'll sit there with, with his toes around. His leg obviously comes back. He'll be more perched up. And this leg bent back and coming up that way. Um, I can't really show you the legs because the, the blue tech's not strong enough for it all to hold while I'm off camera. My issue though was putting the foot on there is all very well and good. It looks all scenic. He's on a tank, but the weight of a Titan standing on an already damaged tank would crush it through. So what I've got to do, um, and after I finish filming this video, I'm actually going to go down to the the hardware store um, to to B and Q. I'm actually going all screw fix. I'm going to buy a mini blowtorch. And what I intend to do is where I've marked out where the foot's going to go, I want to heat this plastic up. Um, I want to get it ni nice, and, nice and soft. I'm not worried about damage and detail because it's going to be covered. And then ultimately, I'm going to press. The one with the, the, the chaos star is the big toe. So one, once I've got that hot, I'll just press that down into it and it'll leave an indent. So it will look like hopefully it will look like the titans putting his weight onto it and pressing in and as a result it, it's it's bringing it in the heat naturally will pass through into the rest of the plastic so by pressing on there it should do what it would do in real life i suppose um it should actually push it down um and you look at that the way that that would go um it should hopefully I say push, push in the right place and bring the rest of the tank in, in the right place. So it looks, looks more authentic. Um, the same with that rock, um, that'll be pushed. And then I'll, I'll, once I've glued that foot in, um, I'll, I'll create more, more debris around it. And probably once I've got the indent, I'm going to drill a hole through here and a hole through here. And I'm probably going to put a big dirty, big pin, um, in there going through from, bottom of the base um, I'll just drill back out countersink the hole um, again very similar to what Mike did on on his his warhound his Mars pattern warhound or his Lucius whichever it was um, it just gives it more stability um, I don't trust just gluing a big heavy resin model onto this so I'll probably put a couple of pins in and that'll hold hold them in place um, once he's done and then yeah so that the, the legs will build up and then obviously the rest will go on the top this is all going to be um, mud and grey. Um, it literally, it's just going to look like it, like like urban rubble, um, with a bit of bit of a, a, a bank of rocks at the side of a, a pond or a lake or whatever. Um, and I think it will make it look nice and thematic. Then, if you if you look back at my Nurgle Imperial Night video, you'll see what I mean about the water effects. And that's what I'm going to just do at the side there. I'm going to build them up, and that's going to be the base. Um, so yeah. Um, quite inexpensive. Um, I think the board was two pound ninety nine. The sponges were two pound ninety nine, and the, the the aquarium stones two pound ninety nine. And I have got lots and lots and lots and lots of stones left. I've only used a, a, a small handful. Um, you could arguably just go and pick these up from from the beach. Um, you could use cork for this, and that, as I say, is it's, I don't even know why I had it. Um, I've never ever bought Imperial Guard, but one way or the other, I had a, a, a Chimera. Um, it was knocking around in my bit box. It was already a bit smashed up, so it made more sense to smash it a bit more. And that's going to be the base. Hopefully, this will look more rocky rather than corally um, when it's done. My, my vision says it will. So, thanks for sticking with it, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.